Breaking news, Nigerians. Labour Party replies Tinibu over threats of anarchy. Reviews next move. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party has reacted to a warning by President Bola Tinibu and his legal team to the Presidential Election Petition Court sitting in Abuja. Politics Nigeria reports that Tinibu, through his counsel, allegedly told the tribunal that nullifying the election that brought him to power on the account of 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory could lead to chaos. And now reacting in a statement, the Acting National Publicity Secretary of the party, Obiora Ifo, said that the statement from Tinibu was unnecessary and could be considered as an interference with the duties and the responsibilities of the judiciary. The party said that the law is the law and that if the constitution has stated that a presidential candidate must score at least 25% in the FCT before he can be declared, then anything short of that cannot remedy it to nothing at all. The Labour Party also recalled a recent statement by the ABC-led administration in which it warned that the unnecessary, you know, illegal orders used to truncate democracy will no longer be tolerated. This was a warning from Tinibu. The party said it sees this as a call on the APC armies to return to the trenches and unleash terror on its supporters. Now, the Labour Party said that if there was no chaos, if there is no anarchy, when the president, when the APC forced its way into power, then Nigeria would still witness peace, even if even it is eventually ev uh, uh, evacuated from power. I beg your pardon. Then he said that the Labour Party has, you know, also taken note of the news, making the round purportedly from the leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bolad Metinibu, when he allegedly warned the Presidential Election Petition Court that interpreting the law as provided for in the Constitution on the twenty on the twenty five percent of the lawful vote cast in the FCT Abuja could lead to chaos, could lead to anarchy, could lead to altercation of the very intention of the legislature. Now, the Labour Party seemed to be very worried though that the statement which formed a part of his submission and was contained in his final rating address against the Labour Party's petition pending at the presidential election petition tribunal meant to be in the exclusive custody of the court and was linked to the media and now they don't even know the, re the, 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 the major reason behind this act of desperation even when the matter is still pending at court the Labour Party have to be very very careful yes so having said that the Labour Party you know thinks that this statement made by Ashuweju Bola at Metinibu was unnecessary since the matter is already in court and it is going ahead so they can get to the root of the issue why would Tinibu make this kind of statement why is he trying to shut the judiciary off is he trying to interfere with the duties and the responsibilities of the judiciary well the truth of the matter is that there is no sentiment when it comes to the matter of law at all there is no sentiment the law is the law and once the law has speculated the manner and how a matter must be carried out then 
it must follow the pattern. If the law has stated that requirement that a presidential candidate must meet before he can be declared, then there is no short course to it. The person must be declared that way. Therefore, if the constitution, which is a grand norm of law in Nigeria, has stated clearly that you must score at least 25% in the FCT before the president can be declared, anything of short, there cannot be a remedy to it. Then, it is on this note that the Labour Party have made a request to caution, you know, that caution must be applied by the camp of the APC because it is very, very obvious now that they have started mounting pressure on the judiciary. They have started mounting a lot of pressure on the judiciary. They don't want the truth to come out. They are trying to hide the truth by all means. Now, we recall that very, very, you know, in a clear, mild situation whereby the APC administration have stated, they have warned, they have given a warning that it is unnecessary. Illegal orders would be used to truncate democracy, will no longer be tolerated. What Tinivu said, it has become imperative to state here yeah, that the unnecessary illegal orders used to truncate our democracy will no longer be tolerated. So that means that even if the court should come tomorrow and said, oh, Tinibu is no longer the president, Tinibu would refuse. He won't allow. He won't allow it to get to that point. So my country people, the warning of Tinibu sounded more like a threat. It sounded more like a threat. And now the Labour Party have reacted to the statement made by Ashuwejo Bola and Martinibo. They have assured the APC and their leaders that there is no absurdity, there is no chaos, there is no anarchy when they force their way into power. Nigeria will still witness peace even when Tinibu is eventually evacuated from power. There is nothing he can do about it. There won't be a shortcut in this matter. The process has to be set right. That is what the Labour Party presidential candidate and the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, that is what they are asking for, for the process to be set right. That's why we are hearing things about a re-election. So my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Please kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.